Okay, a little bit ago here, a couple days I guess ago, I had a sister send me this um, very, very creepy website here, churchix.com, and uh, talks about facial recognition software for your church building. Isn't that wonderful and spiritual? I mean, they did that in the book of Acts for sure. I mean, it's definitely in the Bible someplace, you know, making records of all the members and identifying them through uh, biometric technology. Of course, I'm being sarcastic. I realize that they, that satanic technology wasn't around the first century, but look at this. Identify members attending your events. Yeah. Manage your members. Of course, you get the smiling, happy people of all ages and kindreds and whatever else, uh, you know, mind control people. And uh, just disgusting. Uh, use face recognition to measure attendance. Oh yeah. Get to know your members. Huh, sure, sure. By uh, taking all their personal identification uh, information and everything. It's just disgusting what's, what's going on. Um, sort and assign photos to each event. Sure. Okay, identify members attending your events. Okay, we're back to that one again. But uh, it says here, welcome to Church X facial recognition software. Church X is a face recognition based event attendance tracking software uh, developed as a desktop application. Church X identifies event attending members in videos and photos. All you need to do is enroll high quality photos of your members into the software database then connect a live U video USB camera or upload recorded videos or photos and ChurchX will identify your members. ChurchX facial recognition software is designed for church administrators and event managers who want to save the pain of manually tracking their members' attendance to their events. Oh boy. First of its kind, ChurchX provides you with accurate data on members' attendance in your events and services. The software also allows you to sort and manage your videos and photos. You know, and it goes into saying here, well, I'll just continue reading. First, facial, get it out of there. Facial recognition software requires reference photos, and ChurchX is no different. Reference photos are the photos of your members, which you register and enroll into the database of ChurchX. Reference photos serve as an anchor and therefore should be of high quality. You can think of them as high quality passport photos to go to church. Okay which isn't even scriptural really, but you know, that's other studies. The enrollment and registration are done automatically and ChurchX allows you to manually edit each member details. Okay, it goes down through there. What are probe photos? Probe photos are the photos coming from an event either as still images or video frames and they are fed into ChurchX facial recognition software. The probe photos are matched against the reference photos Naturally, probe photos have lower quality since they are sometimes taken in the field in dynamic conditions. In other words, a person's moving. If you manage to obtain high-quality fo probe photos, your accuracy results will be great. For more details on facial recognition software photos, please refer to our photo guide. Who is it for? ChurchX was developed especially for churches. However, it can be used by event managers who want to track event attendance or by anyone who wants to identify known guests from a large photos collection or from video. If you are looking for another face recognition solution, please visit Face 6. Hmm. 6. Oh, okay. The number of man, 666, the number of the beast. How about that? Um, let me just say it this way. If you are attending a church building, I think you're crazy. It's, it's not at all in scripture. There's nowhere in scripture where they had buildings called churches. The church is, uh, is a um, reference to the people. It's never a reference to a building. And I've done lots of studies on that. You can look that up. Uh, these churches, church buildings out there, we call them babble buildings because that's what they're all about. It's a social gathering. People babble. They run their mouths, gossip and whatever else. Um, these babel buildings uh, are, most of them are 501c3 or some other derivative thereof. They are tax exempt under the government, the federal government. That's why they tell you you can't vote for certain people and things, and, or we can't tell you who to vote for or whatever. Uh, they're government institutions. It's federal property. Uh, government churches are already in America. They have been for 
well, since the 1960s, when 501c3 was created, the tax-exempt status under the IRS code. But um, these Babel buildings uh, are completely without any kind of scriptural support. There's nowhere in scripture that tells you to, to go to church or that we are going to church uh, completely without scriptural support. In the King James Bible, I don't, there's so many satanic new versions from the Vatican, I can't tell what they say, but uh, it's just really, really bad. And I understand why some people hold on to their small little independent fundamental Catholic church. I understand why people hold on to that stuff. It's tradition. I understand that. But uh, if you're going to some kind of, a, and I'm not saying it's good, I'm saying it's still wrong, but if you're going to some kind of a place that has more than a thousand members, um, you're crazy. You're absolutely nuts. Uh, I did another video a couple, year or two ago, I guess, about this uh, Calvary Church, Calvary Independent Church in Lancaster County, where I'm from originally. Uh, we call it the Skull Cult because the new versions take out the word Calvary and they replace it with the Skull. You can look that up. But uh, they have, they already have the thing of fingerprint. Um, you know, you have to sign in with your fingerprints and things if you have small children. They have to be fingerprinted and everything else. Uh, it's just, it's biometrics. Biometrics is uh, biological technology. In other words, uh, facial recognition like we're seeing here, uh, fingerprint, uh, taking your fingerprints, things like that. It's the mark of the beast. I mean, the, the Bible says in Revelation chapter 13 that the whole world will worship the beast. Where do you worship at? Church buildings, Babel buildings. Okay, uh, if you're not saved and you're thinking about uh, what do I need to do to be saved? Uh, well, salvation is by grace through faith in Jesus Christ. Uh, again, you can watch our salvation message if you want to know how to be saved at our main channel page. But um, my advice to you is if you get saved, don't ever, ever, ever walk inside one of these church buildings. Okay, uh, it's and I really do believe that the church age uh, that we are currently in, the the body of Christ time period where people are born again into the body of Christ, I believe that this time is going to continue until, um, and I can't say this to be, I can't be dogmatic, but I think that one of the things that the Lord is waiting for, for the rapture to happen, is actually uh, Christians to finally get out of these Babel buildings. And I know more and more people are all the time. Not only can you not find a good one in your area, but the good ones, quote unquote, good ones in your area that preach out of the King James Bible. There's so much clicky little popularity contests going on and who's on the pastor's secret circle of friends and all this other stuff. It's just get away from those buildings. OK, you can meet with other members in your home. Um, get out and do something for the Lord. Don't go to some stinking dead building where you're just continually keeping the building going and keeping the little pageant going and stuff that has no basis in scripture. You know, a lot of these Catholic cult buildings, they'll say, we stand for the old time religion. Uh, we're Bible believers in all matters of faith and practice. That's a lie. That's an absolute lie. And if, if you're saying that and you're, you're a Bible believing Christian uh, and you're going to some Bible building someplace and you're saying that you're a Bible believer in matters of faith and practice, you're lying, and uh, God's not speaking through you. You're not. You might be saved, but you're not right with God, and you need to get that thing fixed up. You need to get out of these buildings. Christians need to get out of these buildings. Be, just don't be tied to this nonsense. And especially if you're uh, kind of a modern Christian going to some big Babel building with thousands of members, run. Don't even go back. I mean, don't even go back to say goodbye to people. Get out of the thing. Don't go back next week. Okay. Uh, this technology, if it's not in your Babel building, local Babel buildings, it's coming. Um, the sodomite agenda, they're going to be bringing more and more sodomites into the Babel buildings. Why not? I mean, they're Greek, phallic, pagan temples. Uh, if you do the history on them, that's, they're based on, most of them, the architecture is based on Parthenons, Greek Parthenons. And the obelisk on top, also known as a steeple, is a phallic symbol. Okay, they are sodomite temples is what they are. So it's no wonder that the sodomites want to go back into them things and be married and all that other stuff. Uh, it, I keep going on and on here, brethren, but it, it's it's just getting so bad now. I mean, you know, and, and if you're a Bible believer and you say, oh, I don't know if it's that bad. Okay, just attend, just go in and, and visit one of these places and see how bad it is. They're not using the King James Bible. There's so much 
just wicked nonsense going on in these Babel buildings. Man, get away from them. Don't ever fall for the thing that you're somehow in sin for running away from this satanic nonsense. Um, God's never been for people building buildings and calling them churches. Uh, God's allowed it to continue because God has grace, God has mercy, but he's never been for it. Uh, don't let anybody deceive you into thinking differently.